Hello, everybody who happens to watch this live stream. I am Chastity White Rose, and today is my 34th birthday. So, of course, I'm going to do a live stream because that's one of the things I do best, where I just talk about all kinds of random shit and hope that it entertains people. It always entertains me. I can that much guarantee you. So, I actually have a special guest today um, who wants me to try a special kind of food here. Yeah, 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 she must say hi. This, this is my excellent friend, the Black Rose. And if you can see... Yes, she has the tattoo to prove it. Yes. The Black Rose. The Black Rose tattoo, yes. This is the Black Rose that I have mentioned before. She loves Halloween things and... Spooky. Yeah, it's funny. You have to understand, she's the closet monster, see? So I am the closet right monster. now, she is sleeping in my closet. She's got the whole thing decorated Halloween. It's awesome. We'll have to do a video of the closet. Oh, definitely. How you de decorate it. We have so, <laughs> this is so awesome. So, she wants me to try this weird meal she made. So, okay. so here's what we have here. Um, we have um, we have vegan pizza with corn on top. And she wants me to put ketchup on the corn that is on the vegan pizza. This is, this is either going to be the best idea or the worst idea. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Let's see. And for dessert, I'll have graham crackers. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Okay, we are gonna try this. We're gonna put the ketchup. Ketchup is the magical thing. She, right. li she likes ketchup as much as I do. Obsessed with ketchup. Yeah, it's interesting. So we're gonna put cover with ketchup. Let's let's see. Will I live or will I die? Let's see. Let's find out. Yeah, this this is gonna be very exciting here. Okay. Okay. Did you get a bite of ketchup though? Not yet. Not yet. Next bite. Next bite. <laughs> what do we think? It's good but terrifying. Good but terrifying. It, it's spooky, just like you. It's spooky. <laughs> it That's is great. spooky. But it's, oh, I'm making it a mess. It, it, that's the only thing it's messy. Because it's corn. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still good. Oh, yeah. Also, you taught me something interesting. Appa oh. Apparently, women crave ketchup more. So this proves that I really was a woman all along. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Iron deficiency. Yeah. Women actually crave ketchup. Yes, it's it's very interesting uh, how that how that is. It actually has to do with the loss of iron, but then ketchup also tastes good. So either one is a perfect excuse to eat lots of ketchup. It's always delicious, especially organic ketchup. I always buy organic ketchup. It's the most excellent thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is this is so cool. Also, I think now would be a good time after I take a little drink here to go over the rules of Stream Club. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the rules. Yes. So, the first rule of Stream Club is you can talk about anything in Stream Club. <laughs> it's not like Fight Club. Yeah, yeah. This is this is like Fight Club, except we don't hurt anybody. Yeah, there's no punching. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no there, hitting. There's no punching. No murder. We're we're nonviolent vegans. We've sworn a himsa. So we're very peaceful. yeah. We can, so you can talk about anything in Stream Club. The second rule of Stream Club is you must ask questions. You have to ask questions. <laughs> yes, and we yes. and uh, the best part is we have to answer them. <laughs> the third rule of Stream Club is you have to trust chastity. You have to trust. <laughs> yes, because I'm trustworthy. <laughs> the fourth rule of Stream Club is be excellent to each other. <laughs> Party on, dudes. That. Correct. That is the fifth rule of Stream Club is party on, dudes. <laughs> yes, these are the most central tenets of Stream Club. Stream Club is the show where I talk about stuff and people comment and madness happens. <laughs> and this is what happens. <laughs> like, yeah, like ketchup on corn on vegan pizza. Like that is that is so weird. I've got to I've got to put some more ketchup. I've got to try you more have of this. To add more ketchup. Yeah, it I've has to have got it. Got to do it. Do it right. We have lots of corn. We got lots of ketchup, and we ordered sarpinos last night. So this is crazy. This is strange. Also, she taught me how to use chopsticks, which is another funny story. So I may have to show that off in this live stream. 
So how is it? <laughs> interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. Very different. Although, you know, I think I tend to prefer things separate still. My own personal preference is I like to have my food separate. Although, I, sometime I will just try the um, ketchup on top of the corn, but without the vegan pizza, because I need to But separate. like with the mix of the vegan pizza and the corn and right. the ketchup, it works. It works, but it might be a little bit too much for me. Maybe a little too much. It's a little bit too much for me to handle. Not, I'm not, not too much for me. No, because she's much spookier than I I'm am. definitely spookier. <laughs> Can I say? Yeah. She's a vegan vampire just like me. We love our ketchup. It looks just like blood, and I don't think our body knows the difference. <laughs> hey, let's see. Um, we need to try the chopsticks next. Oh, yes. Yeah. Find, find something that I can lift the chopsticks to show. I can find the Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, there's gloves, there's, here, let's try, oh, actually. Yes, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. We'll try the extra virgin yes. oh, oil. That's right. It's extra virgin, just like me. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, yes. Okay, so, okay. okay, I may have to adjust the camera, lower it a little bit so we can actually... Okay, yeah. So we've got the, we've got the um, yeah. I'll, I'll so move, have, move things a little bit closer here. Okay, so if you remember how to use them, yeah, the I think finger. I think I kind of remember how how I do this. See, I've sort of got a hold on it here. Mm -hmm. So here here I got the hand with the chopsticks, and now here is the olive oil bottle. If I do it just right. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Vegan power. <laughs> yes, it's it, awesome. I can actually use chopsticks. And I'm sure, you know, I'm sure you can pick up the graham crackers too. If I put them right here. Yeah, if, yeah. If, if, if we put the graham crackers right here, can I pick up the graham crackers? Let's see if this if this works or not. If it's if I can get them wide enough. Oh, the shape of it might make it. It might be too much. It might. It might. Unless be, you get the top of it. Yeah, if I can get the top of it, I'm not sure it'll work or not, but it's it's fun to try, isn't it? Oh, I almost I, I got a grip, but, but then it won't lift once I once I do get it. It might okay, let me show you. It might actually have to be at a different angle. Yeah. Like from here. <laughs> she, oh, did she, she did it. She she lifted the graham crackers. With with the with the chopsticks, vegan power. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is freaky. That's, that's really freaky. That is cool. That's yeah, cool. I now I've got to try. It. I've got to learn how to do it myself. So do it at a certain angle, like the angle that I did. Yeah. Like coming in, like underneath. Yeah, I might be. I might be able to pull it off if I can. Sort of. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, 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 I got it. Oh man, that is so awesome. Hey, let's let's check and see if we have any any comments. No comments yet, but we at no one point yet. we had two watchers. Right now we have one person watching us. So one person got bored. <laughs> that is so sad. Maybe but, maybe we're too boring. Are we too boring? I think we're quite entertaining personally. This is hilarious. I think we're pretty funny. <laughs> yes. So to, so today is the most excellent birthday I have ever had. The best 34th birthday. Yes, because I'm I'm 34, but I look and feel a lot younger than that. And I and I have my most excellent friend, the black rose here with me. See, I am the white rose and she's the black rose and we bring balance to the force. Dark and light. Yes. It's very interesting. See, She's into the dark and the spooky things. All and the horror movies and spooky shit. Yes. Whereas I'm more the My Little Pony type and all the all the cutesy, uh, kid-like and girly stuff. Whereas she is actually more of a man than I am. She, she's, a, she's a tomboy. Also, she's pretty strong. Like, she has incredible muscles. Like, it's, it's crazy. 
Yeah, because like me, she's vegan and carries groceries and stuff. She doesn't drive a car either. So we're, we're in very good shape. It's awesome. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh man. This is cool. I know this is this is totally cool. Are there are there any special um things you would like to share on such a fine day? On such a fine day. It's been a beautiful day um on Chastity's birthday and also my birth parents' anniversary. Yes. Um it's been a very interesting day, but a very good day. Yes. <laughs> I would say. Yeah, it's it's great. And also, um, she cleaned my apartment, which is very strange. Um, organized all kinds of things. There's now more floor space, and then I swept the more, whole place. More space to dance. Yes, because totally got to dance. That's one of my favorite things to do. In fact, maybe if we are, are lucky later, we could do uh, some special dancing videos, like we were planning on doing, uh, 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 because I have a special method how I do that. And I hope everyone enjoyed my roller coaster uh, video that I had go public today because it was awesome. I love that song. You're like a roller coaster, move and shake me side to side. Yes, then I know, but I may be right. You know, it's such a nice song. It's an amazing song. I know, like, yeah, cool. <laughs> oh. Let's see, is there anything else? What else? What else about today on Chastity's birthday? 34th birthday. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. It is very freaky. I've never been um, so old before. I mean, you had your vegan birthday yeah. cookie. Yes, yeah, she got me the birthday cake flavored, uh, was it the Lenny and Larry's cookie? I think it, it was. It was Lenny and Larry's. Yeah, they have some good cookies. It was so awesome. <laughs> And you are yet to smell your scented stickers, your scented yes, unicorn stickers. That, that's right. Um, I have not smelled the stickers yet. And apparently, wait. Yeah. Yes, she'll get the stickers. But the question is, once I once I do smell the stickers, what will I put the stickers on? Hmm, that is a good oh, question. Wait. Oh, okay. Somebody, uh, I have to go get my tampons. Um, I'm going to share. Yes, yes, share. Guess what? I'm getting tampons. Yes. Womanhood. Yeah, she had started her period on my birthday, which is special, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> yeah, everything just all happens today is just the funniest story. Spe speaking of blood and ketchup and all that, right? Speaking of blood. <laughs> yeah. She, I mean, this only means she's going to crave more ketchup because women on their period crave now more Now I'm on my ketchup. period, I'm going to crave more yeah. iron, so. Fortunately, she happens to be in the house with, with the most ketchup that there is because I'm a ketchup freak myself. I'm pretty sure there's like, what, four bottles of ketchup? Yeah, I buy them every time I go, practically. Like, seriously, she'll be back later on. So now I have to eat this ketchup and corn and vegan pizza. Would you like to put a video for a second? <laughs> Yo, no. no. He, Caleb doesn't want to be public. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a live stream right now. I don't think anybody's actually watching, but I love to record this special moment. She's she's having me do um, ketchup on corn on top of leftover vegan pizza. And it's terrifying, just like her. <laughs> and my cramps are terrible. Yeah. Being a woman sucks. Mm-hmm. That's what I hear. Yep. Thank God I was born with people. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah, do be continued. Keep eating your corn, ketchup, pizza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is just too much. Yeah, this is this is too much, man. I'm I'm not really the mixer type myself all that much. I don't really like my food mixed together. I didn't like things separate. Except that I put ketchup usually on vegetables, but corn is one vegetable I had not put ketchup on before. Seems a little unnecessary because corn is already kind of sweet. And ketchup doesn't really go so much with sweet things. It goes with things like tofu that have no flavor, in my opinion. Actually, there is one thing that's different this than in this birthday than previous years. It's the first birthday without my testicles. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? And you know something? Um, 
I got to thinking about this because, okay, so you have to understand, um, I, I, I have, I've, I've had the most interesting um, work experiences and, or shopping experiences too. Okay, so you have to understand this. Now, I'm not gonna mention anyone's name in this story, but this is a, this is a story that, that happened while I was shopping at Hy-Vee twice. You have to understand. <laughs> so there, there's a certain courtesy clerk who heard about my, my surgery. He heard I had surgery, he didn't know what kind. So then he went and bugged my friend that works in the produce department. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Um, and he found out that I had my testicles removed. So then I walk into the store to do shopping one day and, and, and he says, I heard you lost your manhood. And to be technical about it, I, I didn't lose my manhood. I just was simply never was a real man, but I lost my testicles, which people refer to as your manhood. It's funny. So, so he was asking me about that. And then I didn't see him for a long time. And then later on, I, I, I saw him recently and he was like, hey, I haven't seen you for, for, for a long time. And I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, and I'm still alive. Can you believe me? He's like, no. And, 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 I, and I, sa I said, I'm alive even without testicles, you know? And, and the cashier, she, she's like, well, you're not supposed to broadcast it. It's like, first of all, I'm the customer. I can broadcast what I want to today, <laughs> you know? But it also got me thinking about something. Why is it, I'm, I'm, this is a serious question. Why is it that if somebody, you know, is having back surgery or a knee replacement surgery or, or if someone had a mastectomy because they had breast cancer or whatever, like that's totally okay to talk about. People talk about that stuff all the time. But if somebody um, mentions um, having uh, surgery remove their testicles, then all of a sudden that's taboo. Isn't that weird? Like, isn't that weird? Like, I know that I, that I have had a specific, actually, I have had only one person, only one person who through the past few years has criticized how I talk about my, my my removal of my testicles and and the testicle pain I was experiencing before. I only had one person who ever criticized me. So I feel his 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 problem is kind of his own thing. But I feel like we need to normalize testicles or the lack thereof. Like we really need to normalize testicles. Like why why in the world? Like, th this is very strange. Like, why in the world are some body parts taboo while others are not? Because I've, I've had a revelation on this topic. I, I, I really think about it like, like, these are facts. You know, th these are facts that the people have these body parts. Like, just like my friend, you know, on, on the live stream, just, you know, she got her period today. So, of course, it's like, yeah, she's bleeding out, out of her vagina, and that's like a totally biological thing. There's nothing awkward or embarrassing about it. Like when I like when I was uh, younger, I used to feel awkward and embarrassed about these kinds of things, but not anymore. Like I'm not embarrassed about these things anymore. Like I feel like the older you get, the the less certain things matter. Um, you know, like, I feel like I'm 34 years old today, you know, and I'm not as bothered by people's opinions. I used to be bothered by people's opinions and their criticism. I used to really be worried about what people think. But you know something? Um, it's not the same. Like, you know, at 34, I'm not the same as I was when I was 24 or 14 or four years old. It's different. It's totally different because I realized there's nothing to lose. Like there's really nothing to lose because, yeah. Oh, hey, we got we got another happy birthday message. 
Thanks, Susie, <laughs> whoever you are. I know you're a Facebook friend. I just don't know which one you are because I have like about 5,000 Facebook friends, <laughs> most of them that don't talk to me at all. I have my my Chandler's Honesty series. I have, yeah, he, um, here is the first one. Chandler's Honesty, the truth about a child's past told straight from the horse's mouth. And then this is part, uh, part four, a horse in the night. And part five is currently being proofread by my mom, but it's actually very interesting. And one, one thing that's nice about my books is they, is they explain everything who I am. Like, here's the back of this book. My legal name is Chandler Pleb, but my crew name is Chastity White Rose. If you read my story, you'll learn why. <laughs> yes. Whenever I am in trouble or need answers, I am visited by a unicorn named Honesty. Its horn reflects the truth, and I talk to Honesty when no human is willing to listen. So yeah, totally. Yeah, my books are awesome. The name tag. Yeah, see, I have the chastity name tag. It's awesome. Serving since 2012. It's my high V name tag. And um, I have, it's interesting because I haven't been getting many hours recently. I'm not scheduled to work till Wednesday, but there's always a chance I might be able to pick up shifts at some point. But in the meantime, I'm just considering it sort of a birthday vacation, having a few days to take care of some other things I always want to take care of. There's always a lot of fun stuff. Hey, the Black Rose is back. I have come back. I have arrived from the dead. Yes. I have arrived yes. from the dead. Cool. Did you get some good tampons? I did get some excellent tampons. Some also. tampons. <laughs> oh, great. And I had to get a spoon because the oh, top. the rest of the pizza. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I just have mostly corn. Mostly just, I just have corn left. And. So what do you think of corn and ketchup together? You know, it's not bad, but I still think that I like them separate. Still like them separate. I feel like I would rather drink ketchup straight out of the bottle by itself. Or without, I would rather, without the corn. Or I would rather have corn by itself. But together, I just think they're both. They're both sweet and too sweet things like that. Well, don't... That's the, here, that's the thing. Ketchup mm -hmm. is sweet and corn is sweet. So mm -hmm. it's like double the sweetness. Uh-huh. It's basically like a dessert. Yeah. It's like a dessert in itself. She's basically sweeter than I am. I Maybe I am. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for me, I, I love corn and I love ketchup. Yeah. We have a lot of corn to eat. There's, there's a lot of corn here. There's, I mean, you need more. You want some more, like right here. Yeah. I'll leave it for you because you really like it. I love corn. And I'll have to do something about all those green beans. I'll have to eat some green beans. <laughs> we have so many cans of green beans. There's a lot of green beans there. Yeah, it's weird. I have a few commenters saying happy birthday to me. This is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. People what? People actually commented on the video. Oh yeah. See, I can see when someone comments. So if somebody comments while I'm still doing a live stream and, and says something to me, I can respond. That's the cool thing about it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's and it's it's always more fun with guests too. See, the only thing about corn is so messy. I mean it actually gets everywhere. Yeah. Unless, of course, you just eat it straight out of the can with a spoon and you're very careful. Which is usually, like, I'll actually even sometimes use chopsticks and just eat like that. Like, I'll just take chopsticks and just chuckle in my mouth. Yeah, earlier I actually did pick up a single kernel of corn with the chopsticks. Well, I was going to do really. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you want me to show you? Show me. Yeah. It actually takes some skill. Yeah, like, I, like I, will, I will totally show you. It was so freaky. I did it earlier and I had it on the video, but... I, I got was listening to um, an Equal Rights Institute podcast with Josh Brom and some other guy talking about the group Abolish Human Abortion. And they're a weird group. Um, I don't know much about them. I was listening to that podcast, but then I kind of got bored and just just played some Minecraft and listened to some other audiobooks and that kind of thing. So I don't know if I'll finish it or not, but it's kind of cool. So I guess I'll end this live stream. I was hoping the Black Rose would join me some more, but 
she's hiding in the closet again and she does it's like i swear it's almost like she's not here because she just hides away like that kind of like a uh, brown recluse spider that just hides hides away you don't know it's there she's like that she's like a spooky spider yeah it was nice chatting with you for a bit this evening chastity again i wish you a happy birthday and hope you enjoy the rest of your evening well, thanks, Susie. It's been nice reading your comments. <laughs> Good night, everybody. This has been a very pleasant birthday.